Hello. In today's video, we will be taking a look at an alternative method to adding a roof to your projects. This being the roof generator tool, which is an ideal tool for those wishing to create more complex roof structures without the need for manual editing. As with the other roof creation method, it's best to begin in the architectural roof modeling pair. To add the sketch roof itself, go to the roof menu within the modeling tab and go to the roof generator. Again, there is an option for defining overhangs and roof types from the right click contextual menu, as well as options for different methods for adding the eave line. For this example, pick the add by lines command and then click the truss button to set the parameters for this roof. The parameters are the same for the roof generator as a traditional method, however there are also parameters in the special roofs tab for adding mansard and barn hip end roofs. First, select the material code, which will allow you to select a roof type from the pre-existing options within the BD library. This will automatically change the top chord field. Next, the pitch can be altered, making sure the value entered has a capital A suffix. Fascia height can also be changed to suit. Next, we can define the various height and overhang parameters. The first would be the top plate height that the roof will sit on. Either type this value in manually, select the get button to choose it from the 2D or 3D models. It's easier to select within the 3D model and when there, simply select the wall and the plate height field will change accordingly. Next, we have a set of three values that need two defining before selecting the calculate button on the third to define that value. This is based on all the parameters for that roof. For instance, if an overhang value is defined here and an over the wall height value here, and press calculate next to the E height to obtain the correct value. Once defined as required, click OK to begin adding the Eve line. With the Add by Lines command, the Eve line for the sketch can quickly be added just by clicking the line on the walls and continue to click around the building on a clockwise direction. Once complete, click OK to confirm. A sketch roof will then be added. However, it's best to edit the gables in 2D, noting that you cannot edit the sketch roof without utilizing commands from the roof generator contextual options. These are accessed by first selecting the sketch roof and then by left clicking the grip points, you can then move the eave line of the roof. Whilst right clicking one of the grip points allows you to control the gable type while adding hip mansard or dutch ends to the sketch roof based on the previously defined parameters. There is also a command here for removing the gables altogether. For example, this sketch roof could be converted to gable ends by using the remove gable command on this edge here, and then using the gable command on these two edges. The last step is to then convert the sketched roof into actual roof slopes by selecting the sketched roof and selecting convert surfaces to roof. Note, once complete, it is not possible to add or remove gables. This concludes this video in this series on the roof generator. Join us for our next video on trusses. Thanks for watching.